Today I'm back at MC Sanya because I let them do these years. Hey, hey you! Are you four? I am. And my name's Bram. And I'm four! And I'm Jake, Bram's dad. But some people call me Boxer Blue. Blah! And here is the news. Hi everybody, I'm really happy to be here. Uh, I'm in a much better mood today, thank you very much. Uh, Tuesday, September 17th, 2019 is today, and today is Constitution Day. The Constitution, uh, I think I've heard about that. That's like how you walk when you go for a Constitution. No, 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 uh, maybe. Constitution, um, well, the Constitution, it's the document that um, that America follows. Um, it's basically like, like the law of America, like how the government works. The government? You know what the government, like the president and the Congress and the Supreme Court and all the judges. Oh, yes, yes I do. And um, it, it's, it's pretty amazing. It's actually the oldest written constitution in the whole world that's still being used. Oh, uh, that's pretty interesting, isn't it? Yes, it is. Doosh, doosh. You know, uh, the constitution, you know, it's actually, it's very relevant what's going on uh, in the current Trump administration, isn't it? Yes, it is. I've heard about some terrible things happening about like, gun control and stuff like that. And that, that often goes back to the Second Amendment in the constitution, the right to bear arms. Oh, yes, the right to bear arms. Um, and um, go on, tell me. Oh, oh yes, yeah. so um, today I want to talk about, there's something interesting that the Trump administration is doing. Uh, they've created tent courts. Tent courts? You, I don't understand, like, like tennis courts? No, no, tent courts. Basically, there are so many um, uh, illegal uh, immigrants from, from Mexico, and, and uh, it's like, kind of like too many to handle. So what the Trump administration has done, it's under the Migrant Protection Protocol. They call it MPP. Um, and, and like the, the slogan or, or whatever is called uh, Remain in Mexico. Remain in Mexico? What? Yes, well, well anyway, so they're having these courts where uh, people are, are, are showing up, immigrants, and the judge is actually very far away, like, I don't know, maybe 100 miles away or something. Um, and so it's all done with the video camera and, the, and everything. And, and um, the people who are against this, they're, they're saying it's very secretive. And it's not it's not really right. Well, what do you think, Dad? Well, th that's not my place to say. Doosh! Doosh! Attack! Attack! Oh, my gosh! Th there's been an attack in, in Saudi Arabia. But I don't, I don't quite know where Saudi Arabia is. Do you? Oh, oh, yes. Saudi Arabia is a very large country in the Middle East. It's where quite a bit of, of oil comes from. And uh, I, I'm following up on the story myself, but basically a drone has attacked some some oil uh, fields and oil uh, processing plants. Oh, oh, oh my gosh! A drone! A drone! I don't I don't know what a drone is. Oh, you remember um, when we bought that house? Remember that guy he had a drone, and the drone flew over the roof, and we looked, and we said, "Oh, yes, it's like a robot." Exactly, a drone is like a flying robot. And so, um, uh, Yemen—it's it, it, a small country in the, in the south part of, of Saudi Arabia. Uh, there are some some rebels there. They're called uh, Yemeni Houthi uh, movement. I might be pronouncing that wrong. Ah, uh, yes, you definitely are. But I won't say anything about that. Oh, okay, that's fine. Uh, but anyway, uh, the, the issue is they are being um, uh, financed or supported, let's say, by by the country of Iran. Oh, okay. And Iran and Saudi Arabia—they're like not friends or something. Yes, uh, I guess you could say that they're not friends. Uh, it has to do with, with uh, many things. Uh, one of them has to do with the way they practiced Islam. Oh, oh, Islam. Oh, oh, I remember Islam a little bit. Well, I, I'm not going to go into it, but uh, America is basically backing um, Saudi Arabia. Oh, okay. Saudi Arabia is like our, our ally, our friend. Uh, yes, uh, we actually give them a lot of weapons and things like that. Oh, that's interesting. And uh, Iran <clears throat> is, is kind of like, like our enemy right now. Oh, but it's such a beautiful country, and, and you know, there's a lot of the history there. Uh, I don't really understand. Well, uh, I don't understand either, but um, anyway, it, it, it's serious. Doosh, doosh. Did you hear about the, the, the Notre Dame fire? Oh, oh, yes. That was very serious in Paris, France, right? Yes. It was April 15th of this year. And um, basically, you know, a, a fire started. And the, the problem, you know, the fire was put out pretty quickly. I, mean, I don't remember, a few days or so. But um, 460 tons of lead are flying in the air still. You know, the gas from the lead, the powder. Lead. Uh, can you explain what lead is? 
Lead, lead. Um, the on the uh, scientific uh, 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 periodic table of the elements, it's PB for some reason. Oh, PB. No, no, I understand. Like, like peanut butter. No, no, no. Not, not, not peanut butter. Um, lead is an element that used to be used in pencils. Um, it used to be used in paint. It used to be used in gasoline, and it's very bad for you. And, and so basically, because Notre Dame, the, the beautiful cathedral, was made a long time ago. Um, it has a lot of lead in there, and so, so people in Paris, the, 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 they might be still breathing it right now, several months later. Oh my gosh, that's very serious. Douche, douche. Oh, I, you know, I love Gary Larson. Gary Larson, he, he's great. You, who, who's Gary Larson? Oh, Gary Larson. He's a, a comic strip writer. Um, he, he wrote these really funny, these funny comics called far side the far side yes the far side um i remember those uh sometimes you know when i get a little down in the dumps i'm kind of sad and a couple of tears are flowing out of my eyes i like to pick up the, the far side and, 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 and you know chuckle a little bit <laughs> that's how i chuckle you know that yes yes so uh how is this news i don't understand dad oh well uh the the comic strip was very successful it was like you know hundreds of millions of dollars like in, in revenue what's revenue revenue means money yeah, Gary Larson, I think he made a lot of money back then. But anyway, uh, the far side, it stopped. Uh, I don't remember exactly the, the late 90s or something like that. I, I'm not really sure. But on the website, I don't really know what a website is, but on the website for the far side, basically they said something like this, uncommon, unreal, and soon to be unfrozen. The far side is back. Isn't that exciting? Yes, that's really exciting. Douche, douche. Hey, Dad, in Zuzania? Yeah. In Zucenia, do they have any um, Nordman Greenshank men or women? Uh, what what the heck is, is that, son? Oh, uh, Nordman Greenshank is a bird. Oh, they probably do. You know, in Zucenia, you can find pretty much anything. Um, you know, but b before I got married, uh, I actually used to date a, a, a butterfly woman. She was quite quite beautiful. It was, she was a monarch butterfly. But, but anyway, uh, that, that's not important now. Um. Uh, Greenshank, uh, why do you ask? Oh, well, they basically just, just, uh, rediscovered it, you know, like, in 1976 or something like that, um, was the last time that, um, that anyone saw this bird, it's only in Russia. Oh, Russia, we talk about Russia a lot, where is that? Oh, it's like between Europe and Asia, it actually is on both continents, Europe and Asia. Oh, 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 oh okay. And so, just recently, they, they found, they found, a uh, a, 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 a Nordman's Greenshank. Oh, that's that's pretty cool. Uh, it sounds like you're stuttering there a bit. Well, I guess I'm a little bit tired. I'm so sorry. Okay. Well, it's time to go right now. Um, I've decided to take Bram to Fresh Kills Park. What? Fresh Kills Park? What are we gonna gonna kill? Some some food or a hamburger? No, no. Fresh Kills. Um, in Staten Island, New York City, uh, they they used to have a landfill where they put all the trash. But I thought all the trash from Staten Island goes to South Carolina. That's true. It, it actually does. Um, so they they stopped, you know, putting landfill and trash there many years ago, decades ago. And, and so now they're actually going to open a park, uh, I guess in a year or two. And so they're inviting the public to, to like, fly kites and use microscopes and just kind of check it out. Oh, that sounds really good. Let's go, Dad. Okay. Don't forget, Little News Ears is the news to grow up with, so I'm going to turn five years old next year, and oh my gosh, the news is going to get, like, older with me. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Do you want this week's news? Go to littlenewsears.com. Don't forget to check out our videos on youtube.com and our teacher lesson plans and more on littlenewsears.com. May your sweetness shine. And your colors glow. Blah. Sources for today's broadcast include Fox News, The Wall Street Journal, and The New York Times.